wanted to share an experience I had this week after seeing a motivating post this morning. So this post was talking about how sometimes in life we hold on to things for longer than we should and by holding on to them they cause us more damage than if we were to let them go. So I see this a lot in life and a lot in particular in property investing where people hold on to deals for longer than they should that are no longer working. And for Tasha and I, we had the experience this week where we actually had to let go of an, a deal because it was no longer working for us. So we got the survey results back. We always get a survey on all of our properties. And it brought to our attention that there was a few more pieces of renovation needed than we'd spotted when we'd been around the property. We'd taken our build around and he couldn't spot them as well because they were hidden. They were hidden behind the surfaces and only by spending a bit more time there could the surveyor actually spot them and bring them to our attention. So this obviously meant the renovation figure had gone up. So we tried to renegotiate with the vendor, asked them if they were willing to drop to the price that we wanted, and then tried to see if they'd meet in the middle and do some of the works themselves. But they were not willing to drop at all because we'd already dropped them a fair amount on the offer, and they weren't willing to meet us. So the deal no longer not only worked for us, but it didn't work for our investors who we represent. So we'd made an agreement that we would get their money out in a set amount of time. And we want the deal to work for them in a certain criteria. So... If that deal is no longer working for them, we need to make a decision, a business decision, rather than any emotion involved, that this deal no longer works. And we can put the money to work in a better deal in the future. So we had to go back and make a decision, tell the vendors we no longer want to take it forward. And I just want to share that experience with you, because I see so many people that hold on to these deals, that if you can renegotiate them, fantastic, do it, take it forward. But if you can't, don't take a deal forward that no longer works, because you'd get an emotionally attached to it, because you've seen the other benefits, like, yeah, this deal would have brought us so much more money in, but it wouldn't have been a great deal for our investors and we have to take that into account. So I see a lot of people who do this, they hold on to it and it's the wrong decision even though it's going to bring them some income in and get them closer to their financial freedom figure. It's not the right deal. So I just want to share that sometimes by letting it go, you can focus your attention elsewhere. And that's what we're doing right now. We're focusing our attention to find a deal that works for those investors. We've got one on the table right now that investors are working with us on. And we've got offers out on the table where there's hopefully more opportunities for people to get involved so just wanted to show that share that it's important not to hold on to that because both in property investing and in life in general sometimes that can cause more damage to you than letting it go